most of the entry level mechanical design engineers struggle to choose the right design domains to kick start their career my name is kevin kutto and in this video i am going to unleash how you could select and prioritize right design domains and skills to begin with if you want me to bring more such videos on mechanical design topics do subscribe and press the bell icon your likes and comments will help me to reach out to the larger audience thank you in advance so let's begin without any further delay today in this video i am going to talk about knowledge and skill pyramid which will help you to select and prioritize your learning as well as maximize your career growth it is also going to help you to land up in a better job once you prioritize and take the actions on the skills let's divide this pyramid into two parts the first part is a foundational elements and second part is add on elements the one which i have shown with the red color is the foundational elements and one outside this red boundary is called as a add on elements foundational elements are needed by all mechanical design industries irrespective of the domains products or industry types add on elements on other hand change as per the type of industry and products if you focus your energy time and money to learn foundational elements to start with you can literally beat the competition and land up in a great job the first foundational element is engineering knowledge and skills such as strength of material theory of machine heat transfer engineering graphics fluid dynamics all these topics you have already studied during your 4 years of engineering these theories and calculations are necessary to design functional product which can sustain various loading conditions the second critical element is leadership and communication english communication helps you to excel in a global work environment i have seen many talented engineers lagging behind due to poor communication skills especially english communication skills so do not hesitate to invest your time to learn english so that you get the confidence to express your thoughts and designs confidently in front of the global team leadership on other hand is also very important and it is the ability to get things done with the confidence both these skills will give you a competitive advantage especially in a global work environment nowadays the third very important skill is manufacturing domains the more the knowledge you have about this manufacturing domains such as plastic sheet metal casting forging 3d printing prototyping and you are highlighting that into resume the better you will equip to get the job manufacturing domains are very necessary to design a manufacturable part and make sure that these parts will be readily assemblable with each other each manufacturing domain has unique processes design guidelines defects and mitigation post processing joining methods and analysis methods i will suggest to begin with two most popular domains which are nothing but plastic and sheet metal and gradually learn more manufacturing domains as you grow in your career plastic and sheet metal consists of around 60 to 70% parts in automobile home appliance medical equipments and aerospace industries so learning these two domains to start with will give you a lot of competitive advantage compared to those who don't study these domains apart from manufacturing domains core design skills are very necessary to design and deliver a functionally working product it includes of npd process engineering drawings gdnt as per iso asme standards dolan stackup analysis design for manufacturing design for assembly and many more skills i have created a separate video to explain all these skills their significance and why these skills are necessary to deliver a functional product you can watch that video i have provided the link in the comment section as well as at the end of the video now you can understand why we call these elements as a foundational elements because you are going to need manufacturing domain knowledge core design skill knowledge leadership communication engineering knowledge 
in every product domain type of industries which you will be working in so if you begin your career learning these skills it will be really really build a strong foundation of your career and it will be easier to transfer from one product domain to other product domain now at this juncture you have to also make the decision whether you want to build your career into product designing or tool designing because product designing and tool designing are two distinct domains and they require distinct skills so what is product design domain and what is tool design domain in product design domain we design a functionally working product as per customer requirements so for example designing of a car refrigerator washing machine water filter air purifiers acs will come under product designing whereas on other hand in order to manufacture these parts with the particular process we might sometimes need to design tools for example if this is a plastic part we might have to design a injection molding tool blow molding tool or compression molding tool based upon what kind of process we are going to use if it is a sheet metal part we might have to design a press tool so based upon what kind of material it is and what kind of process it is we have a separate domain to design plastic molds press tools casting dies even your jigs and fixture designing domains also fall under this category this knowledge is more towards designing a tool and jig and fixture and the input for you will be part designing and drawing which has been delivered as a output in product designing since this both the domains product design domain and tool design domain or jig fixture design domain are very unique it becomes difficult to transfer from one domain to other domain as you grow in your career so make these decisions very wisely understand your passion understand whether you like product designing or whether you like tool designing also understand the scope because there will be many companies into product design compared to the tool design there are a lot of domains in product designing like automobile interiors exteriors body in white engine design transmission door trims car seating suspension so many domains in automobile itself apart from automobile we have domains in home appliances medical equipments machine design so these are some of the product design domains now once you have this core design skill it becomes very easy to transfer from one product domain to other product domain biggest mistake many engineers do nowadays is they don't build this foundation and directly go on learning product design domains which makes them difficult to find the job because now you have to search job in very niche domain and very few companies which are into that particular product domain but if you build the foundation on this you can easily get job in any of these domains let me elaborate further suppose you know the plastic domain the plastic domain will be used in automobile also home appliance also medical equipments also and machine design also if you know the sheet metal domain sheet metal design will be used in automobile home appliance medical equipments and machine design domains also so that is the advantage of learning these foundational skills first and then going for the product design domain and choosing your domain but as i said it's very important that you make clear decision between product design and tool domains because they are very distinguished domains and it becomes very difficult to move from one domain to other domain that means product to tool design compared to moving from one product domain to other product domain the last bucket is nothing but cad softwares so we have multiple cad softwares every cad software has its unique strength and based upon what kind of product design domain you have chosen as well as based upon what kind of tool design domain you have chosen your choice of cad software will change i have created a video on this topic again i have provided the link at the end of this video you can watch that and understand which cad software will be useful for you based upon which product domain you are going to choose now the question is how many cad softwares you should learn the choice of cad software is basically based upon the choice of domains you want to learn in so suppose you want to learn automobile interior so you should go for the softwares which are very strong in surfacing because that is required into interiors if you want to work with medical equipments or home appliance industry the choice of software will change because their complex shapes are not there and there are other manufacturing aspects which are going to be critical so choice of cad software is going to change 
So my suggestion to you is do not learn 5 6 CAD softwares focus on at least couple of softwares maximum and based upon your choice of the domains where you want to explore your career and that will be the good start point in future if required you can learn more CAD softwares based upon your need to start your career with two CAD softwares are more than sufficient what are the basic mistakes mechanical engineers do when they want to kickstart their career in design the first mistake is too much focus on CAD and product learning we have seen that CAD and product learning will come into add-on skills and knowledge whereas you should focus more on foundational elements the more you focus on foundational elements your resume will look really great for all the domains and that will maximize your chance of getting the job with the big companies ignoring foundational elements is another mistakes many engineers do without this knowledge your resume is not going to look great your foundation is going to be very big tomorrow even if you get job you are going to struggle in your job due to lack of these foundational skills the third mistake is not investing in self many engineers are very reluctant to invest in themselves they want quick fixes unfortunately in careers there is no quick fixes and there are no shortcuts you have to learn these skills you have to put efforts sometimes you have to spend the money also but see if when you invest that money in yourself when you invest that money in your own development you will get the returns in terms of good job you will get the returns in terms of higher growth salaries great performances on site travel and many more so investing in yourself is the great investments you will have in your life i wish you best luck with your great successful career keep on watching and do subscribe